The media claims that your followers worship you. Is this correct? <laughs> I don't know of any followers, so-called followers who worship me. I don't even know if I've got any followers. <laughs> um, a person who follows me, I would say, would be a person who follows my teachings, not follows me. I don't believe any man should be followed or any woman should be followed. I believe that if a person's teachings are teachings based around love and truth, then they should certain be, certainly be listened to. And if it is determined that they are definitely loving and truthful, there should, certainly should be an attempt to follow them if we're going to have some kind of happy and successful and beautiful life. And I feel that uh, there are many people who listen to my teachings. All I do is give seminars and people come along and listen to my teachings. Um, whether, and I don't even really see them as my teachings. I, I see them as things that God has taught me that I just wish to share with others. I don't even see them as the teachings as belonging to myself. I feel they're universal in nature. And so therefore I can't have a copyright on the teachings or anything like that either. I feel that the, that the, this whole concept of, of people following me is flawed. They need to follow the teachings if they wish to become at one with God. And these are things that they can experiment with, with God directly without my assistance. Secondly, um, when it comes to um, following me, um, there is no need to follow any man, including myself. And so I, would active, I actively discourage people from following me. However, I do say to people that if they wish to become at one with God, at some point in time, they will probably have to go through very similar experiences than what I've had to go through myself. Um, and this is because the process of becoming at one with God, which has been defined by God, is a very narrow path. Uh, in the first century, I called it a narrow path that leads to life. And the people who find it will find that, that God has a very tight definition of what love is uh, and very very strong definition about what love is. And at some point, if we're ever to become at one with God, we will have to accept that definition, just like I've had to accept that different definition from God. So I believe this is all about actually accepting God's definition of herself and accepting God's definition of the truth into your own heart personally. And that is something that is completely independent of any relationship with me. It is impossible for a person to have a relationship with God um, through me. The relationship is directly with God and they may also have a relationship with me if they wish, but it is impossible for me to have a relationship with as many people as what God can have a relationship with. I am a limited, finite being. God is, appears to me to be, at least, to be an unlimited, infinite being with the capacity of having a relationship with every one of her children equally, whereas I uh, do not have the capacity to have equal relationships with every person that's ever been created. And so a person focusing their attention on me causes just frustration in their life when they should be, in my opinion, focusing their attention on God rather than myself. When it comes to the question of worshipping me, I definitely reject any concept that a person needs to worship me in any way. And there are certainly no so-called followers of mine. Like I said, in the, I don't believe I have any followers. But any so-called followers of mine or any persons that come along and listen to my teachings at my seminars certainly do not worship me. If anything, they question me far more thoroughly than they would any other person because of my claim that I am Jesus. And they often treat me quite badly as a result of my claim that I'm Jesus rather than worshipping me. And uh, of course, that is up to them to do those things. What they choose, how they choose to treat me is up to them. However, I believe that every person on this planet, including myself, deserves the right to be treated in a loving manner. And a person who comes along to my seminars and who treats me in a manner that I feel is condescending or, or, or belittling, then I'll, have to, then I'll ask them to leave, even though the seminar is free. <laughs>